Hey guys, Steve with Fly Fly Drones here. Uh, we're going to come at you with another video. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about DJI Assistant 2 and the error cannot load firmware list. Please retry. I'm uh, getting a lot of questions about this in the comments, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So here's what happens you've got your fully functional setup of a, an older version of Assistant 2, right? You've got your debug mode open, um, everything's working, but when you open up your aircraft and you try to load the firmware list, it doesn't load anything, it doesn't display the current version. Uh, and on the bottom it says, cannot load the list, please retry. No matter how many times you hit retry, that ain't going to work. Um, and so, unfortunately, DJI is doing this to us on, on purpose, guys. They're trying to limit our ability to mods. Um, and so, uh, you're going to see this message on all older versions of DJI Go, below 1.1.6, which are unfortunately all the ones that we need to use to, to mod. Um, and so, you know, despite the error, you can still mod, you can open up the parameters, you can still update the firmware process and watch it go in the assistant, you just can't see your current version. So, a lot of people want to be able to see the current version, they want it to load the firmware list for whatever reason. Uh, and so, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, load those side by side. We're going to say side by side, baby! Um, yeah, so, go ahead and uh, open up a file explorer, open up your C drive and go into a program files x86, if it's there. Find the DJI product folder. Open that up. Uh, and then here you're going to find one folder. We're going to rename this. DJI Assistant 2. We're going to rename it. Uh, rename it to whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to put the word moddable at the end. Um, and we're just going to rename that folder. Uh, once you're done renaming that folder, go ahead and open it up. Um, if you have a shortcut on your desktop, uh, you can go ahead and delete that. Uh, but basically we're going to find the DJI Assistant 2.exe. Uh, drag it over to your desktop and create a, a shortcut since we renamed that folder the other one isn't going to work anymore so i just want to make sure that you guys have access to it so we're basically just going to rename that so that preserves your older modded version uh, now go ahead and open up a web browser go to dgi's website uh, go to the mavic section and then go down to the very bottom and go to downloads uh, go ahead and hit the exe button there that'll download the windows installer uh, should take just a minute to download once it's done downloading go ahead and uh, double click on the file there start the installation process uh, do whatever you need to, to to get it to install, run, install, whatever the, the button that shows up. You just go ahead and click that. Uh, once we get DJI Assistant 2, the, now this is going to install 1.2.0, uh, so the latest version. Um, you'll see it'll drop a new icon on the desktop. So basically we've got two versions of Assistant that we can use now. Uh, if you open up the, the new one, you're not going to see the debug mode. We can't do any parameter modifications, but you can load the firmware. Uh, hook it up, you'll see the version down there. Go ahead and load up your aircraft and you'll see that the, the firmware list is going to come open. Um, you're going to see the current version, so you know, you'll be able to read and see what that is. And so if you're running into a problem where you can't see it, um, this is an easy way to do that. Um, again, if I then just close this one, go back to that other shortcut that I made, um, I can open up the, the older version of Assistant. You can see I got the, the debug window open over there. Uh, and so if I go ahead and just open it up, Again, it's not going to load the firmware list here, guys. It's it's not going to. DJI seems to have just kind of disabled that, crippled it in the older versions for however reason. Maybe it's a server-side check. Um, I don't know. I haven't really looked into it too much. But if you scroll down here on the left, you know, you're still going to see your parameters. Uh, you're going to be able to, you know, change what you need. Um, you know, all the other settings are still available. So it's a minor annoyance. you got to go back and forth if you want to, you know, look at and load the firmware. Uh, but again, guys, don't update your firmware. Stay where you're at. Um, and hopefully you won't have any problems. So I hope that helps. Uh, you know, if you've got any questions, go ahead and post them in comments. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll talk to you later, guys.